All right, I've got this gear, and I need to put it in my rear. No, no, not in the rear. Not the rear. Don't put anything in the rear. Unless that's what you're into, then that's fine. Okay. What's going on, everybody? I am Mr. Fred, and welcome back to more Maze. Uh, so we're in this place. Uh, we're in, obviously, Bob's bedroom, because it's just an absolute mess. Um, and plus, he's got pictures of himself. Yeah, it's Bob's bedroom. So, anyways, we're in Bob's bedroom. I'm going to take some pruning shears, yeah. And we are trying to find what we need. Okay, navigational chart. All right. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean, with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation Subaquanium Endeavor. Evader. Okay. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. I mean, it could be. Could be. Capuchin treats. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes of to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyways. That's weird. All right. Apparently, I can't... Nice camera. Can I go in the shower? Okay, that was weird. That was weird. I don't know what just happened there, but I can't get in the shower. Okay. Uh, golden toilets. Really weird sink. Uh, another toilet. I feel like that would suck. Having... Like, if, if you gotta poo at the same time the other guy's gotta poo, you don't have anything separating you. You're just staring at each other pooing. That's weird. What's this? Uh, bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues than can possibly be fit inside the facility. Due to this, a statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. Holy shit. Is that... That's two billion dollars... Alright. Alright, Bob. 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 Why are you doing this, Bob? Bob, what's wrong with you, Bob? Bobby. Bobby boy. Bobby man. Bobinski. Bobalaba ding dong. Bobalaba lula. Is there anywhere else for me to go? How do I get in there? Is there a staircase? Oh, there is a staircase around the side. Okay. I saw the door. I just ah, staircase. Okay. All right. All right. I figured it out. What's in here? A master plan. Appears to be the only thing for Nando, the founder's assist, 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 assistant put any effort into. Aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves, it's a very poor plan. Involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. All right. Stupid. Stupid. Okay, so Fernando was the dead guy, remember? Medicine ball. I picked up a medicine ball. You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but that would require a grasp of logic that you don't really have. I agree. I'm not that bright. What is this? Daily planner. The final page consists of six appointments. 9 a.m. Do nothing. 11 a.m. Pick up new fedora and glove. Noon. Torture stupid corn for amusement. 3 p.m. Hide to avoid work. 5.45, torture corn. 6 p.m., initiate master plan. All right. All right. Hiya, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you cretin. Ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from least reactive to most. So go do it! Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. 
Need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour. Okay. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Fernando. Uh, don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to uh, hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you? Please? Thanks! Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen draft. Use this pen, draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Ha. Okay. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, uh, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. Neato! Anything else here for me? What is this? Out of coffee. I need coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I need some coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Alright. Well, I know where the ball goes. I know the ball goes in here. I do. I do know that. Because I saw it. I saw the ball goes right here. Yeah. Um. There's got to be something else for me to do around here somewhere. There's got to be some other stuff for me to grab. Oh, that's a cute little plant. Wait a minute. That looks... Looks exactly like the plant they could have... Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's do some more searching. Let's do some more searching around, shall we? Okay. I'll write it down. I wonder if it's this plant right here on the center. I wonder if I can take this. Nope. N what's this? Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. Oh, no more lobbies. Okay, yeah, I already read that. Sorry, guys. I know I already read that. Sorry. Oh, was there anything else in here that I missed? There might have been. No, not that plant. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. That was a nice coffee maker. Uh, nothing over here. 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 Okay. All right. All right. All right. Going back. Going back. Can I not? I don't think I can leave yet. Now nah, this door's still closed. I can't. I can't get out of here yet. Okay. So there's obviously something I need to do. Do I have broken gear, water cooler, sturdy box, red marker, English muffin? I've got everything I need. Let's go find out if I've got everything I need. Uh, water cooler. Uh, sturdy box. I'm pretty sure that goes on the bottom. Yep. Uh, water cooler. Okay, so I need... Ah! I still need a couple of things. Oh! I missed this area. Okay. Uh... Ooh, there's the plant that I need. Okay. Plastic plant. So many useless things, idiot. Shut up. No, I don't. It's all necessary. What's this? Bob, where is that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with Ranko weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work. And do some yourself. Buffoon! Cordially said. Do we have any coffee around here? Nah, yeah, I don't know where the coffee's at. Can't, I can't find the coffee. Ooh. Oh, it's a locked door. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's stuff in there. I can't get in there yet. Okay. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. But I've got the plant, so I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need now. Um, if I remember correctly, the plant needed to go in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Put the plant in the bedroom. Right here. And then, pretty sure... Yeah, I kind of figured. Um, red mark. There's no way. Okay, use marker to draw the worst face in the world. It appears to you took drawing lessons from a leather couch. Neat. Okay, so I drew a face on the... Yeah. Alright, I can see how this is going to work. Ball. Plastic plant. Alright. Yeah, it's scanning. And it's obviously going to work. Yep. And this is obviously... Okay. That does not sound good. No, it doesn't. Aha! I finally found you! Okay. You've fallen into my clutches. Just not... like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. So I like no this guy. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will Stupid break. Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, what is that? 
Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just. What's up, boy? Fighting is cheating. I win by the fault. <laughs> Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy. <laughs> and I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> you know, this place is filled with idiots. <laughs> oh, I like that guy. So that happened. <laughs> I like that guy. I don't care if he is a bad guy. I like him. He's fun. Oh my. He's funny. I like him. And I still have an English muffin. I don't know what I'm using. That a unicorn candle holder. This is a candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. A jar of rank. I got the rank. I got the coffee. I got the coffee. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Local teens win big science award. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably praises the and the displays slick presentation spearheaded by Bob and completely ignores the sciency parts which Ted did on his own. All right, so they haven't liked each other ever. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses phrases like, can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British, recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Got it. Ted's journal, written entirely in blue pen, in perfectly sized paragraphs, is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, couldn't get funded. Yikes. That is sad. Wow. Okay, so I've got my jar of Ranka. I know where that goes. I know where the Ranka 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 goes. It goes on the coffee trolley. Okay. Do I go in there? Pretty sure I do. I do go in here. Hey, Teddy, you gonna follow me? I bet you are. Oh, whoops. Oh, I can stand here now? Wow. Awesome. Going through. Whoa. What is this? Script for a Broadway musical. Is that all I needed? An, an autobiographical play about the story of an albino corn stalks quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several cont continuity, continuity problems, and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. Wow, that was a lot of big words. All right, I made it in. There's the step. Found the step ladder. Got the step ladder. Okay. So, bag filled with... Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage-filled bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you, always. Wow. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid. Don't know Idiot. why. I, don't know why I grabbed that. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. I agree, Ted. Mm, burpee again. I'm always so burpy. God, I don't know why. Hiya, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of uh, some of our some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious. Just some old moldy, fo moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry, Bob. I hate you so much. Cordially, Ted. <gasps> They've got sassafras and ginger and marjoram and garlic. Oh, they was making some good food in here. Okay, and some glue. Okay, if you ask nicely, Vladdy can fix the door back to level one. He won't like it, but he'll do it. All right, so Vladdy's going to fix the door for us. Awesome. 
That's good to know. Okay, well, I am completely out of time for this episode. So in the next episode, we're going to find out if Laddie's actually going to fix the door to level 1. He probably won't like it, but he's going to do it anyways. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure, like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.